so excited to finally be playing Shadowbringers. Oh my god. Look at her! Wait, wait, wait. Hello, Chuchula. There she is! Guys, look at her. It's my little, uh, it's my little baby. Look at her goofy run. Now, now I have you. Oh, it's happening! Stay with me. Focus on my voice. Let expanse contract. Eon become instant. Safe journey, warrior of light. Find our friends and bring them home. You got it, Tataru! Oh. The dawn's light will shine again. Oh, do not look at me so. Oh, sh it's Menphilia. The time has not yet come. I'm very confused, but that is really cool. Whoa. Is that me? Oh, wait, it's, it's Ardbert. Trees are really pretty. From endless dreams I awake. Something vague, yet urgent, calls me to action once more. God, the the area is like gorgeous. <gasps> it's the dude. Rare to meet someone out here who's not a peddler himself. What brings you into the wilds this time of night? It's the dude from the start of the game at a realm reborn. Ah, got to you, did the poor beggar. That explains it then. <laughs> oh, Chuchula, you are better than me. I would have said yes. To dizzying heights it rises. The gleaming spire. Its tip threatening to pierce the blinding canopy. There, it will all begin anew between dark and light, the pure and the corrupt, the one true struggle. God, I can't stop smiling. Oh, the forest of the lost shepherd. Ah, okay, we move. The music is fantastic, guys. Oh, I'm in for a ride. I am in for a ride. I can already tell. Okay. Oh! Oh, is that like a light creature? That one had eaten. It must have gulped down the whole hand. Ring and all. It was a little hungry. <gasps> oh, that's messed up. We, we just right. saw him. Oh, I, I, I've seen him. And so we come to the question of where. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the 13 reflections or shards. The first, to be precise, even if its inhabitants are largely oblivious to the fact. Uh, okay. Having been awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, <laughs> I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, thought to seek the aid of you and your companions. 
here in the first, the world has been all but consumed by primordial light. Hmm. It began a century ago, by this realm's reckoning. A luminous flood swallowing everything in its path. I'm assuming this is probably Ardbert's world then, right? Because his world was consumed with light. He was mentioning. And the fortunate few who survived are hounded by abominations born of that catastrophe even now. Sin eaters, we call them. The creature you saw earlier was one such monster. Sin eaters. But what manner of host harangues his guests in the middle of the road? Let us continue our talk within the Crystarium. I can't wait to see this city. for the living in a world all but designed to oblivion. <gasps> oh my god, finally Hrothgar! Norv... Norvrond... Norvrond... Yo! Oh, the city is gorgeous! Oh, this city is so pretty! I just love the purple plants. I love the orple plants. Uh, they say his grand magic summoned the crystal tower into existence. Oh! Wait, is that supposed to look like identical to the crystal tower? It is identical. That's neat. I'm sure that's going to be somewhat important. Guys, lead the way. I literally don't know how to get through here. Oh! I'm sure you are desperate to know the fate of your fellow scions. To put it simply, they are here in the first. Where is my boy Urian J? It's not as recent as you may imagine. Here, time flows at a different pace from that of the source. Yeah, he mentioned it's been years. As for your companions, however, Yustola and Urian J have dwelled here for three winters, all told. Wow. Stands at five. That's nuts. As they were not the object of my summons. As you may have surmised, however, our efforts met with little success. And then we all but abandoned the endeavor once Uriange shared with us the vision he had witnessed during his journey through the rift. Mm. In his vision of tomorrow, the first was rejoined with the source. Oh. This collision of worlds brought about the eighth umbral calamity and the deaths of countless multitudes. Amongst those who perished, Uriange clearly saw the fall of the Scion's mightiest champion. He watched you die. Damn. What say you? Have I earned your trust for the moment, at least? I guess you're cool. I guess. <laughs> you're all right, Popsicle Man. <laughs> he is a popsicle man. I wonder if I could just eat his his fingers. I wonder if they would taste like sea salt ice cream. Oh, they got iPhones. <laughs> She's so sad that she didn't have iPhones. She's like not here too. But I fear Not the damn iPhones. Avan Kerm Sin? Oh! Yes, I'm here. Of course I'm here. What amusements do you have for me today? Oh, hi! My dear Feo Ool. Feo Ool. Pixie kind. Oh, they're cute. How wonderfully exciting. What a brave and reckless and marvelous thing you did. You've the heart of a pixie, you do. I'm a pixie. After careful consideration, I have decided to grant you my assistance. Make a pact with me and the fun can begin. Oh, okay. But answer me this, traveler. Did your garments come with you when you crossed over? Your teeth, your nails? My teeth! 
What do you want my teeth for? Give me your teeth. May have her message to your friends and the source to inform them of your safe arrival. Oh, here's the thing. I do think that Chuchula has a little thing going with either uh, with like one of them. She does have a funny little crush on both Tataru and Kryl, so we we need to bump heads for a second. We this is like choosing our romance route right here. We have to go with Tataru. It's okay. You know what? They'll be fine. Ta uh, Tataru will just tell Kryl, and then Kryl will be happy. We don't have to decide at this moment. It's just simply the right thing to tell Tataru because she was literally the last one we saw. Ooh. I love this song, too. Listen, it might always be daylight out, but it is damn pretty. Ooh, Ardbert? <gasps> it's him. I know you. You're the warrior of light from the source. Hi, yeah. It is his world, right? Did you just... You can hear me? Was he just haunting us? I remember when we fell. Defeated by you and yours. Right. It's been so long since I've seen this. Here. How she listened to our pleas and returned our souls to the first. Yeah, she she brought them back and she also went. That makes sense. That's why Menphilia is here. I wasn't sure. The flood was poised to swallow Norvrant. Norvrant. Okay, that's how you say it. Friends, they, they surrendered what little they had left to hold it back. <gasps> Just faded away. Leaving me to bear witness. They're gone? You were summoned to save the first. A waste of time. This world is beyond saving. Like those who try to save it. Muddled as my mind may be, I've not forgotten that. No, it's okay. It's okay. I will save it. But I will. Fate, well, I'll be watching Warrior of Light. He'll be haunting us. I can totally see myself getting attached to him. Poor Ardbert. Ah, how did you find your new quarters? I trust you were able to rest. There was a ghost watching me. My sleep paralysis demon in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Arbert is technically, he's going to be our sleep paralysis demon throughout this journey, I assume. I had a ghost sleep visitor! It's true, he was my oh, sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> this map shows the lands of Norfrat, the only area to be spared the flood of light. That's just a map of Eorzea! The Crystarium is here, in the region known as Lakeland. Okay. That's like a No, never mind. Is the fairy kingdom of Ilmeg. That is where you'll find Orionge. Okay, that's around like Ishgard area. No, this is like where Mordona is, right? Uh Christarian, this is like where Mordona is. Lies the once prosperous civilization of Rak Tika. Your stola is stationed there in the heart of the forest. Yeah, that's like where Gridania is. Alfino is on Calusia, an island off the western shore. Hey, Linza. A city called Yulmor, where the rich and privileged while away their days in idleness. Alize, meanwhile, traveled south to the arid wastes. That's like Ulda. They lie upon the very edge of the inhabitable world, where the flood of light was halted. Those who dwell there live in constant fear of attacking <gasps> the And then everything is just like consumed by light, like the burn. So, will it be Calicia or Armoren? It matters not which you choose to visit first. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. I was about to say how, like, I don't remember where everyone went. And I want to go to the one where Urianje is at. But we have to go to the twins first. In search of Alize, you know what? 
They're gonna tell us anyway, okay. Arm Arang. From this parched earth, the nation of Nabath, Arang once rose. I like the song. Damn, the song's really good. <gasps> is that a f cactor? I think this is my favorite cactor design. Are you kidding me? Look at him. Alize? Oh, it's those light things. Get back here. <gasps> yeah, it's her. Yo, look at her fit! Oh, look at her rings. How are you? Yes, that's how the Sin Eaters came to be. Mm. They were once living creatures or people that were caught in the path of the Flood. The infirmary is full of the Sin Eaters' victims, left here to spend their final hours waiting for the change to overtake them. Dude, look how pretty the sky is. It's not just like bright light too. It's like, there's like blues and yellows and stuff. Oh, Rick. I caress the chair you sit on. Uh, Horik remains utterly still as you wipe the sand from his cheek. The texture of his skin has hardened into something akin to plaster. Sooner or later, every single one of them will turn. Hmm. Tesleen and the patients, they all know this. They know what has to be done before the change goes too far, before the eater within takes over. The preferred method is mixing poison into their favorite food. In my time here, I've borne witness to a lot of last meals. <gasps> oh, that sucks. It's never easy ending a life you've cared for even when you believe they go on to a better place. I often find myself wishing the warrior of darkness would come and do that part for mm. me. Is is that me? Is that me? Am I the warrior of darkness? Let sinners and eaters of sin go with thee, that all may return to the sunless sea. Well, that's the version I was taught anyway. It's just an old bedtime story. He certainly never deigned to visit us here. <gasps> Wait, it just kind of hit me! Ardberg calling himself the warrior of darkness in our world was sort of like a way for him to like, I don't know, feel like a hero in a sense because he like, it's kind of his fault and like the other warrior of lights for this world for like having the light be like, you know, the, this whole thing. And they're looking for the warrior of darkness in this world to come save them. So Arbert is calling himself the warrior of darkness. <laughs> Desleen. Have you seen Halric? <gasps> I only took my eyes off him for a moment. No. Not the baby. No. Is that him? Oh wait. Oh, it's the thing from the opening. There it is. <gasps> no. Is that? Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> reaction the way you were just staring at her like that oh 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 what oh was she turning into a city
Gente! That was literally so scary! I literally would never expect it to like see anything like that coming out of Final Fantasy XIV! <gasps> Hello, Popsicle Man. I'm ready to see Alpha now. The whistling breeze, mute. The pounding surf, frozen. Time itself takes a breath. At light's edge. Oh, there's like houses. actual green plants. The world captured in a painting. I thought that like in this world it was like purple. And in the distance. Whoa. The broken earth. <gasps> a city beckons. No, this is literally just Limza and Lenosha. And how is business <gasps> just ever? It is the lad! It is good to see you, my friend. Oh, son! Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please! Oh? Uh, ah! It is also known as the City of Final Pleasures. The noble and the wealthy who survived the flood gathered here to live out the rest of their days in decadent abandon. Ah. The poor man could sooner pass through the Ivan Needle than Yumor's gates. The only way the common folk can enter this perverted paradise is if they fulfill the whim of one of the privileged. And so they are picked over like market produce. Damn. Well, well, what have we here? An extra share of meal to celebrate our newest resident. But bread. Many here rely on it to survive in these times of scarcity. Yet the whole arrangement just seems... Yeah, it... Oh, let's just say it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, same. I don't know if I trust... Like, there's definitely something that they're doing to, like, the people here. Like, I don't think they're just, like, rising to wealth immediately. It's definitely, like, gonna be hard for them once they make it to the city. Ooh. Oh. There you are. Oh. The sussy baka. The thief who claims the harvest on my behalf. Hand it over. Hand it over. Forgive me. I just, I have to get into the city. No matter what I do, they won't call out my name. I'm so tired. I'm so bloody hungry. I thought maybe I could steal your idea. Get in that way. We can smuggle you in. It's fine. We got you. What is your name? Kai Shear. Kai Shear. You'll give me your place. Just like that. I'm giving you a chance, nothing more. What comes of it is entirely up to you. I understand. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I have a feeling he's he's uh, gonna die. I don't know. They've been killing off characters. What I'm, what happened with Tesseline is a warning. It is um it is a sign for me to not get attached to characters. Don't get attached to characters, Relaza, or else we'll kill them off. Maybe if I don't get attached to characters, they'll keep them alive. Weekend wretch. Oh, you really gotta call him a wretch.
To be frank, the thought of sending my saviors to, into some awful place makes me sick to the stomach. But since it's plain you've set your minds on it, you should take this. Oh, it's my favorite paintbrush. <gasps> the Umoran elite are never satisfied until they get exactly what they want. And if I'm not mistaken, the couple I mentioned will be looking for someone to replace me. And Alphino is really good at art. Hey, I can see where this is going. Ooh. Redemption is beyond us. Whoa, so pretty. Once they held fast against the Whoa. Whoa. Pole dancers. They got pole dancers. They got strippers. Yes, everything seems to be in order. The registration is hereby approved. I think it's best that we deliver you to the Chai residence before. Hmm. Oh dear. Why are you, why are you sniffing us? Uh, you smell hideous. Dang. Oh my gosh, you just called us stinky. I can't. Oh, Tuchula's face. Oh. Realistically, we have never seen any of these characters bathe. Who knows how long Chuchula has gone without a shower? You rinse yourself clean from this stream of water. <laughs> this is the face of a clean baby. Oh, Hi, ma'am. Who's this then? <laughs> I love her voice. Alfino, if it please you, my lady. And this is my assistant. <laughs> He's putting on such a voice. He's putting on such an act. I love the it. Has begun, of course. I shall have no need of constant encouragement. And so I wonder. I'm his cheerleader. Hell yeah. I'm his personal cheerleader. As he paints, I'm like, yes, go Alvino. Woo! I'm loving this song. Very jazzy. Very smooth. We have arrived at the strippers! Woo! In my humble estimation, the most wondrous thing about this town is how safe we are from the Sin Eaters. They say Lord Vothry was born with power to command them. Born with power to command them? Wait. That sounds weird. It's really sussy. I don't trust him. Oh! <gasps> It's so, so unflattering. Explain yourself, Alphino. What? It looks nice. Now, fetch a blank canvas and. I never said that, though. Uh, uh, uh. I say, that come from above. Someone being torn off, uh, thrown off the edge. Oh, hello. There was a villain on the loose, set to ruin our fair city. But our lord has got him now. And his fate will not be pretty. Oh no. That's him. That's Vothry. Oh, hello. Mercy. Mercy. By the twelve. Oh no, is it the blue cowboy? No! Oh! Lord Vothry, what is the meaning of this? Why is this poor man bleeding to death on your floor? Why? You ask me why? Because criminals must be punished. And this man is guilty of fraud. I mean, you're kind of right. He did get in through fraudulent means, but that's you to try and kill him. To atone for this crime, I ordered that he fling himself from the balcony. Had the temerity to weep. Please, my lord. <laughs> Anything but that. What then is a man of mercy to do? But offer the sinner another way to show his contrition. Another way? Meaning what exactly? Sin eaters are part of Yulmore society. 
but they must be fed with ether. Living ether. Ah, uh, yeah, so yeah. I demanded an offering of flesh, carved by his own hand, from his own hide. Punch him! Punch him! <gasps> do it! Do it! I think she just needs to punch someone. Okay, I'm glad that he didn't die. I was, I was so sure he was gonna be like killed off. I told you to paint me a picture. Shut up! I'll kill you. I'll throw you over the edge. I think Chuchula is strong enough for that, actually. What you need is a mirror, not a painting. It will capture the horror I see before me far better than I ever could. <laughs> so true. I'll kill them all. I want to see you try. And they're all just watching. <gasps> Solace, right? Is his name? <gasps> what is he doing here? I didn't stream my like reactions to like post Stormblood, but my impressions of Solace. I I love I love him. I love silly villains. He reminds me of the Master of Masters from Kingdom Hearts, and I just think he's so silly. Oh, we're finally up to the level seventy one quests. Light Wardens. Hello, Popsicle Man. I have returned. Mm. Sin eaters are drawn to serve the strongest of their kind, a class of creature we call light wardens. And from what we have been able to ascertain, only a handful of these entities exist. Okay, I was thinking, I was about to say maybe Lord Vothry is a light warden, but he said creature, so I don't think. Just as an ant colony will perish in the absence of its queen, we believe that the death of a light warden will cause the lesser creatures within its sphere of influence to disperse. <gasps> oh, so pretty! In the ancient past, a single star was divided into 14 worlds. This is the source, your home. These others are the 13 shards, in whose number we find the first. Okay. Now, let us assume that a given element in one of the shards attains abnormal ascendancy. Just as water will flow from the highest point to the lowest, the excess energy will begin trickling into the source. As ether continues to pour in, such phenomena will become more and more extreme, until eventually, a single, untimely event triggers a disaster which cracks the barrier dividing the two worlds. And that would cause them to, like, merge, I guess. These devastating events are what we refer to as umbral calamities. Oh. Seven times has a calamity befallen the source. Seven times has a shard been absorbed. Oh, so that's how the uh, calamities happen. Thus, if we have universe blowing up skill the source, issue. To head off a potential uh. calamity. It is imperative that we put each and every light warden to the sword. Okay, gotcha. Forgive Hello. The interruption, my lord, but Holminster Switch is requesting reinforcements. Oh. They say the Sin Eaters are attacking in force, and the village could soon be overrun. Oh. Holminster Switch now accessible. NPCs. Oh! I like the song. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> what should I wonder if it's possible to do wall-to-wall -wall pulling with a group of NPCs. I'm gonna try that. I for I for gore. I for gore had a doll. <gasps> okay, so I've learned that wall-to-wall -wall pulling in an NPC party is not a good idea. Whoa. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's the same one. <gasps> oh, I recognize you, little. Get over here! Get over here! Oh! No, no, no. I'm just pressing buttons. But uh, someone help! Ah! Oh, there's people. Whoa. <gasps> no, Tesla, the forgiven! 
Oh my god! I think I was gonna have to kill her like this! Oh. I'm sorry, Tesleen. Thank you for the level up, though. Whoa. Whoa! Light Warden Philia. Oh, so they give us, like, little titles for the bosses now. That's sick. Ooh, new song. Whoa, okay, song. And yes, hell yeah. Eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place, born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. There's no but way. Now we have a way to contain that corruption. Oh. Oh, with me? Me? The blessing of light. And the hero who wields it now stands before you. Ah, I see. I am eating the light. Oh, I just got goosebumps. Whoa. <gasps> Behold, the monster's power is broken and the world twisted by its touch returns to its rightful form. Whoa! Wow, already? I wasn't expecting to like bring back night until like towards the end. My lord? Huh? How many years have I waited for this moment? For um... the one possessed of her blessing. For you. I beg you stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the wardens and restore darkness to the first. <gasps> I forgot he's just like watching us throughout this entire journey. The man with too many scars. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait one second. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> wait, I, I need to look at all of them. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, it's the rest of the warrior of darknesses or light of this world. <gasps> oh, look at her smile. She's so cute. I'm petting your head. Yes, hello. I don't remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. Just more nagging burdens to ignore. Oh, hard bird, my heart. Wait. So this is what the light was hiding. Wait. Ryan? She's here. I must go to her. Why are you blonde? I thought you had orange hair. Wait, hold on. I- I'm con- <gasps> It's Dineen! It's Dineen! I missed you! Stay your weapon. Oh, hi guys! You're not your enemy. Okay, I, what I wanted to say was I'm even more confused now because I recognized her as Ryan, but she has blonde hair because I know that Ryan has orange hair, but then I'm like, in the opening trailer, that looks like who Thancred calls Minfilia. Is like Minfilia doing a funny little possession over Rhine or something? Ah, oh, you're so cool. Hmm. You are in contact with the science, I take it. <laughs> Through no choice of my own, they tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. Oh, wait. So has the Sinian joined the science now? Oh. <gasps> 
Oh my god, Astinian Scion! Sir Astinian, I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Oh, he's not gonna join. He's his own man. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can get. Oh, are you actually? My path leads to Garlemald. I wanna see Garlemald. I wonder if we're actually gonna see it at some point. <gasps> Holy sh! Holy sh! Oh my god! Finally! Triple try it! Oh! Okay, one game, one game, I promise. I promise only one game. I, I, I pinky promise only one game! Oh, this dude is so easy! Okay, I said one game. But this dude is easy. I feel like I can get a card from him pretty easily. <sighs> do, 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 do. Ugh, fine, fine, fine. Oh. My lord, I am come with the Yule Moran emissary. May I show him in? A moment, Captain, if you would. Everyone, gather round. Oh. Oh. Secret. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor, General Ranjit? General Ranjit. I don't know if I recognize him. I think this is a new character. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmor considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. Okay, bye. Oh, I think he can sense us. Yeah, hi. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised if Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. Ooh. A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle <gasps> of Light, Minfilia. Minfilia? Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Generations of Minfilias? What the f- What is that supposed to mean? Oh, <gasps> there she is! Keep moving. She's so cute. Oh no. They are EP. It is time. Let us free the Oracle from their clutches. Is. Oh. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Quickly, free her. Ah! Minfilia! Oh, he has a dragon. Hmm. Brazen thieves. You'll regret coming here. What? What? Are, what is he doing? What are you doing? I don't think that's allowed, sir. I think you should stop. It's over. <gasps> oh. Oh. Wait, is that Thancred? <gasps> oh my God! It's Thancred! <laughs> so. 
You are the wretch who stole her from us. The wretch. Oh. Damn, okay. What are you doing? Whoa. Whoa, whoa. to unleash his hounds. Oh my god, it's the silly, silly man! Even the most pointless of conflicts may alter a world's course. And now the plan has gone awry. But how? How did the so-called Crystal Exarch bring the hero of the source to the first? As if I didn't have enough on my hands already. God, I love him. Mayhap there is another way. One which does not require bloodshed. I don't know what his deal is. Wait! Oh, wait, no, no, no. Because he is... A whatchamacallit, an Asian, he should have no trouble going so long to ago, different. Oh, oh, wait, wait, Here in the shadow of the northern ranges lay the great kingdom of Verbert. Since that time, these lands have become <gasps> a haven for fey folk. Oh my god, that's so pretty! Dreamers frolicking amidst the ruins of a forgotten realm. Oh wow, that's gorgeous! Orianger has called this place home for a while. <gasps> No, f***ing way, we're about to see Orion J. Yet He's my favorite. My Sooner or later, the Omorans will come after us. But before they do, the Exarch bids us accomplish two things. First, rendezvous with Orion J. So excited. And second, eliminate the Light Warden of this land. You. The hero from another world. Oh. I was asleep when I felt it. A presence. Someone I was meant to meet. They were close and... And I knew I had to go to them. But mm. with all the commotion in Lakeland, I was afraid that Thancred wouldn't let me. Aww. And would I have been wrong? Had I arrived a moment later, you would be back in your cell in Yulmore. Papa Thancred is angry. Oh, poor thing being scolded so. Are these the fairies? <coughs> oh no! Farasitha, Krakleth. Mm mm. Ah, uh, my babe. Return for a place in El Meg. He agreed to a riddle contest with us for seven days and seven nights without any sleep. <laughs> uh. <gasps> oh, hello. You're late, 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 late. I'm a burp stuck. Uh, it's good to see you, Feyol. I've been waiting for you to summon me ever since you came here. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Sorry. I sort of forgot about you. Another self-important little brat. Just what we need. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of my child. <laughs> Alphino! <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, just a joke. <laughs> Murder! <laughs> it seems we won't be joining you. I... <laughs> we'll reveal the hidden burden to you at once. I pray for your safe return, Alphino and Alize. I fear we may never see them again. It's been real. <gasps> oh! Oh 
my god, that's gorgeous! Uriange, are you in? <laughs> to a world weary of heroes, a hero wins her way. Oh my god, Uriange! You look so good! So glad am I to see thee once more, my friend, and none the worse for thy travails. Oh, I love your slutty new outfit. Uh, speak more Shakespearean to me, Orion J. Hark thee then to my words, and through them behold the vision that I did glimpse, that of the eighth umbral calamity. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Because he had his vision. No, I'm just here because of um his pretty little face. <gasps> Dost thou recognize yonder chart? Yeah, it's the Star of David! Oh my god, Jewish Orion J real? <gasps> Oh my god, he's just like me, for real! I knew I sensed a kindred spirit. It's the a chart of the elements. It's something to do with magic. Where's the funny little third option? It is Judaism. It's Judaism! Indeed. <laughs> what thinkest thou of mine appearance? You're so... I wish there was a secret fourth option that says, um, you look so girly pop. What do you have for me? <gasps> oh. White orosite, newly forged for thy use. Our mission being to thwart a rejoining, we will most assuredly cross paths with those who crave the contrary, our eternal enemies. Thus did I choose yeah. to abide in this ether-rich land, the better to fashion a trap for the Asian's essence. Are we gonna use it on Solus? <gasps> the baby! May I come in now? <laughs> yes, the adults are done talking. That's my girl, thank you. Oh, he is so dad. <gasps> oh! <laughs> As you know, I freed young Minfilia from captivity in Yulmor some three years past. Not long after, the two of us journeyed to the south of Armoreng, to the edge of the empty, where the flood was halted. Yeah? It was there that she awakened. The Minfilia of old. My Minfilia. So she awakens to it. Oh! Ow, headache! Oh, 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 oh! We're gonna see it! Tell me, tell me, what must I do to bring you back? My dearest Thancred. <gasps> as I am now, I am no different from an Asian. This child is but a vessel. Oh, my heart! Should the day come when this child grows weary of fighting and wishes to cast it all aside, then shall I take up her burden. But should she wish instead to become the master of her own destiny, then shall I bequeath to her my all. And what of my wishes? What of Flamines? What of all the people who love and care for you and want nothing more than to see you again? Oh. Oh. It is not their decision to make. It is hers. This child's. This Minfilia's. Thancred just wants you Minfilia have back. You over me, Thancred. much and more she does not know she needs a guide to show her the ways of the world or she will never find her own path become when dad cred comes, you will find me here until that day my heart hurts so much for thank 
Amphilia, wait! Swim well enough. Ankra taught me. Excellent. What about you, Orion J? I'm not sure I've ever asked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than swim, mayhap it would be more expeditious to walk upon the surface by means of magic. Jesus. I f knew Orianje was Jewish. <gasps> oh! 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 <gasps> I was not expecting a duty! <gasps> oh, it's so pretty! <gasps> oh my god, look at him! He's so dapper! What are you doing, silly little frog? Oh! 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 I like just watching her flip. She's so talented. Anchor definitely taught her how to do that. Poor Ariandre! Oh, I think you can take care of it. I think you're fine. <laughs> Wanderlust. Shut the f up. Are we gonna see Orianje walk on water? Are we gonna finally see if he's Jesus? No f way. We're all Jesus. <gasps> oh my god, look how pretty that is. <gasps> Are you. Oh! Mm. I love this dude. <gasps> Whoa. We fall. We ball. I wonder what happens if I fall. We fall. We fall. Hell yeah. And a level. Sick. Oh, why are you so sad? Oh, she's so sad because she killed the dapper gentleman. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. I could just imagine Thankrit is just like following us, but like from a safe distance, at least like 10 feet, or like from a healthy distance away from us. He's just watching us. We're clearing the entire dungeon and he's just like, you go guys, go, 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 cheering us from the back. More? I want to see more of her. No. Yes, yes, I can watch her forever. Don't look at me. Do not perceive me. My sleep paralysis demon. He saved me. Hi. Oh. Mavilia, stay back. There are garden por uh, porksy. Wait. <gasps> Shut the f up. It's flying things. They're so cute. <gasps> They're called porksies. Pork. Oh, thank goodness. There you are. The baby! Thancred once told me that if the efforts to summon you failed, it would fall to me to face the Light Wardens. And she would have to follow the path of the previous Menphilias. No, don't worry, we're here now. That it was the only reason he kept me close. As a contingency. <gasps> the truth is, he can't stand to be around me. No! No, you're wrong! He is your dad! He loves you! Because I'm not her. <gasps> I'm not his Nymphilia. Oh. Uh, what? What is that? No. Uh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. Why? 
Why did you imprison us? Such boredom, such tedium have we suffered. It is unfair. Unfair. Oh! oh! Come. Come and play with us. My day went from bad to worse, but thanks to you, it's simply bad again! <laughs> oh, that is such a mood! Seek out the largest of the Amaro. His name is Seto. <gasps> that name sounds familiar, Seto. <gasps> Seto Kaiba, that's where the name- Yes, that's what I was thinking of too! An enormous Amaro slumbers peacefully. <gasps> Seto! Kaiba! <gasps> Ardbert? Oh my god, was that Ardbert tomorrow? Memento of a front? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ardbert. This medallion he found during an adventure. Fashioned it into a necklace for me. His partner in crime. His partner in I had crime? I not the words to tell him then. But it filled my heart with pride. I was so... So happy. Oh! Oh! I knew His we were gonna see him. Was Artbert. Yeah. And he was my friend. He was a friend to Art us all. Bert. Artbert was a trusting soul, constantly being drawn into the troubles of others. Yet, in spite of this, he never thought twice when he saw someone in need. He always tried to help. He was a good man. He deserved to be happy. I wish I could have told him that, at least. He can hear you. He's here. Ranjit. Yeah. If he manages to find his way in, all our efforts will have been for naught. <gasps> Shut the f up. Hello. Don't turn around. Do not turn. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't do it. Oh, oh I did it right on time. I don't want to kill you. You're too cute looking. The dancing plague. I can't wait to hear the song. Trial songs always slap. I'm so excited. Who goes there? Are you the one who broke the seal? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, they look so pretty. We must make up for it. We must. Beginning by playing with you. <gasps> with me? I'm turning up the music for myself. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, it looks so pretty! The more the merrier. Join us, my children. <gasps> oh no. Mustard seed. Peace blossom. Puck! <gasps> oh my god, wait! Puck! I recognize that's also a character from um Midsummer Night's Dream. Titania and Puck. Oh! Mustard seed and peace blossom too? I don't remember all of them, all the names, but that's so neat. Ooh, day two. <gasps> Whoa. And... Ah, sick. We can play no more. Rest easy, king. My non-binary king, let's go.
Thank you. Thank you. We got to sweep. We got to clean. Titania's been in here for a long time. I don't think they've been cleaning in here. We got to clean. The dress, the crown, the scepter, the shoes. The time has come for these relics to serve their true purpose. For they are not only keys to the castle, they are also blessings to be bestowed upon the new king. Ooh, the new king. The way into the castle is opened when it is time to relieve the reigning monarch of the throne. And the brave soul who does the deed has the honor of taking their place. I'm gonna be king! <laughs> Waver, should you ascend the throne, you will become one of us. Never again to live as men do. I can't do it, but Fair Ul, if you want to do it, feel more than welcome. Are you going to ascend to be king? Please, you deserve it. <gasps> no way! Oh my god! <laughs> it's what they deserve! Oh, oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, 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 yes. They're fighting Ranji. Damn these pixies and their tricks. Damn these pixies and their tricks. No. Oh. Who are you to dictate her purpose? To lock her away and deny her a life? Dad Crid. If she was powerless, it's because of you, you sanctimonious swine. But no longer. Sanctimonious swine? I mean, it's true. Fool. Defiance only begets more suffering. It is through acceptance alone that one may find solace in this God's forsaken world. Look, the sky. We did the thing. Forward, men. Take the villains captive. Are you deaf? <laughs> I said. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> we are grateful for your timely aid, Feoul, or should I say, your majesty. It was the first night in recent memory. We all of us but wish to make the most of it. <gasps> I'll be sad to lose you. Yeah. I was their adorable little Space sapling. sapling. Yeah. I shall remain at your side. Even should my body be in the castle, tis a simple thing to have a little part of me accompany you. Treat them as you would a sniffs. Goodbye. All seems well at the Crystarium. Yes. Yulmor was plainly more concerned with finding us. How flattering. <gasps> Solus! No way! Hello! Hello, you silly, are... silly man. What a handsome individual. I'm sure he means us no harm whatsoever. Oh, of course. I'm sure he means us no harm. I am Solus So Scalpus, founding father of the Garlean Empire, and under various guises, the architect of myriad other imperially inclined nations. He is the founding father. As for my true identity. Yeah. I am Emmett Self. Ah, Emmett Selk. I've seen that name floating around the internet. Behold the sky, restored to its former glory. Have you ever seen a more affecting spectacle? I love him. Oh, it is truly deeply infuriating. Do you have any idea how much you have delayed the rejoining? And so, while it is liable to be troublesome, 
I have settled upon a different approach. Get away from her. Get away from her. What? I will not raise a hand to hinder your hunt for the light wardens. If you desire it, I will even lend you my knowledge and strength. He has some <laughs> posture though. A war waged with <laughs> He's just like me for war. real. It is mere bloodletting. Just once. <laughs> My Emmett Selk, Twitch streamer confirmed. Yo, only Twitch streamers have posture like this. He's just like me. When all is said and done, we may find ourselves pleasantly surprised. The proud discoverers of a path of cooperation rather than opposition. Think of it. Very good, miss. Thank you. Ooh, I got a sandwich basket. Oh my god, Emmett Selk, you didn't, you didn't, you shouldn't have. I hope the past few days have not been overly taxing. Ray, take your rest and recover. From the Exarch, <gasps> is it? Hello? Oh my god, the Exarch made me a sandwich. That's crazy. Juan, I'm gonna tell you guys how it, how it tastes. The exact knows how to make a good sandwich. Still, he's keeping you well fed. Yeah, he has. <laughs> Tell me about Seto. Tell me about Seto Kaiba. He's done some growing. When we were traveling together, he was nowhere near as big. <laughs> and he obviously couldn't speak. I had no idea how much that medallion meant to him. What about you, anyway? You must have a friend like Seto. Chocobo, perhaps? Come on, you tell me something for a change. Oh, you're bonding, we're besties! Ah! Wage your war against the Sin Eaters. Put each and every Light Warden to the sword. Prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Allies worthy of bearing the burden of truth. Ooh. For now, I shall resume my shadowy vigil. Whatever you choose to do, make sure it's worth watching, would you? You got it. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktika. Ooh. There you will find your stone. <gasps> With her assistance, I doubt the warden will evade your grasp for long. No matter how far he goes, of Ronka, to which all seekers of hidden truths are inevitably drawn. Lahi! If, if you really want to stay, then help us fight. Mm, no. <laughs> I will suffer your company if I must, but not your country. No, I want- I would like to hear him speak. Elahi? I feel like Emmett Selk could turn his head 180. I feel like he'd be the type of guy to do that. Elahi? Oh. Ooh. Now, surround them! Rothgar! These Sin Eaters, they're not like the others. But, uh, oh, he, he thinks we're Sin Eaters. I am the most dangerous of all Sin Eaters, clearly. <laughs> uh, Koopo? <laughs> Perfect. That will seem a lot less amusing when we are forced to kill them. Oh no, I'm sorry, Dad Cred. I had hoped that by accompanying you, we might come to understand one another. But all I have come to understand is that you have a knack for inflaming the natives. <laughs> I'm sorry! You've committed the cardinal sin of boring me. <laughs> and so I retire to the shade. The cardinal sin of boring him? Yeah. Enough. First, explain this other presence in your company. 
the one I know not. Oh, she doesn't recognize us. There is but one manner of creature in this world whose ether is suffused with such an abundance of light. It is me, Chuchula Chula. My apologies, Master Matoya, but thou art mistaken. Before thee standeth our dearest comrade, the truest hero among us. Forgive us this hostile welcome. Come. I would give you a proper introduction to Raktika and its people. I love her so much. Chuchula is her own being. She is her own character who has two love interests already. Yishola is mine and mine alone. But what of you, Thancred? Could it be that you are still struggling to come to terms with the nature of your young companion? Yeah, he is. Uh... My struggles are none of your concern. Oh. Quite why you would speak thus and in this company, I do not know. Damn. Perhaps you left more of yourself back in the source than I assumed. If you'll excuse me. Dad Kurt is pissed. Look, it's the two mommies. Mom, Mommy Anjay and Mommy Shola. They're both such mommies. Guys, guys, they're just watching me defeat this beetle. I could use a little help, guys. <sighs> Wasn't fun watching me. I tire of these games, Orionje. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? Oh? Oh no, the girlies are fighting. The blessing may spare her the fate of becoming a light warden. Me? But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. She is not as she was in the source. <gasps> oh, sh! The eighth umbral calamity and all that followed. Everything you claim to have seen. Did you? Hmm. Oh. The Ulmorans are come for us. We're under attack. Oh. The Ulmorans presence here is uh, here plainly stems from a desire to protect the Light Warden. I say we seek it out and slay the creature before they return. I leave the blessed in your capable hands, Runa. Very well. Oh, I love Runa. I wish to give him a little pat on the head. Her waddle. Oh. Oof. It would seem we have found them. Oh. <gasps> the bunnies. The bunny you ladies. Upon sacred ground. Be gone. Wait. We did not come to. Oh. Smooth. Stop, we mean you no harm. Oh. We are allies of the Empire of Ronka. As is customary, we come bearing the seal of the Emperor. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> it appears to be genuine. Now, which statue will it be? Oh! Might I hear the riddle one more time? Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, bread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call. Avert thy gaze, forever fall. What? I'm a little too dumb for this. Notice it's facing away. Oh! Oh god, I'm gonna have to write this down. The coral is facing east. And the snake is facing west. Ugh. Okay, wolf. Oh, no! The oppo? If the oppo is wrong, then I genuinely have no idea. Oh, oh 
my god, why does that scare me? No, then I have no idea. Maybe the owl? I don't know. No way. I have a talent for these things. Ah. How does this relate to owl? I don't get it. But you know what? I apparently have a talent for these things. Ah, the pyramid is full of owls. I should have known that it was an owl because on the medallion, there was literally the shape of an owl. Oh. Ooh. We must hurry before the Umoran soldiers gain any ground. Run, 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 run. Oh. Oh, I'm so smart. Oh, oh my God. I love these types of puzzles. I literally love these types of puzzles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Ah. There we go. Fun. Another door. Oh, oh! There you are. Anora. General, hold on. Oh? Is it gonna collapse? It's gonna collapse. We poisoned a number of villagers in Slitherbow with a toxin brewed for us by the children. This is the antidote. Huh. Eventually, someone will come to our rescue. Or yours. Promise us safe passage, and we'll give you the antidote. Do I trust him, do though? We have a deal? I don't know. We do not negotiate with the enemy. The villagers' lives are forfeit, as is yours. <gasps> no! Oh no! General? Oh, you snake! You dirty dog! You stole her! <gasps> oh wait, no! You stole her! fail. she's okay. I know she shows up in Endwalker, so I know she's okay. But how dare you? That was dirty. <gasps> Benfilia! Right. No, I'm afraid not. Orioche! At once. I think she'll be okay. <laughs> Your Strola could be potentially dead and then... <laughs> Runer! <gasps> no! Oh no! <gasps> He's gonna be so upset when he finds out that Your Strola fell. Oh no! Was there no other way? I... I cannot believe she... That she... We must begin the search immediately. I will come with you. Yeah, he wants to look for her. She is alive. She is alive, damn you. Oh! You have something on your mind. What is it? Yeah, when she fell, there was like a burst of wind. Oh my god. Did she do that? Did she pull that same trick that she pulled at the end of A Realm Reborn where she like went into the ether? Don't answer. Flow. The teleportation magic yeah. keeps the spirit us away yeah. from the door after the bloody banquet. I recall a similar gale in the tunnel before it took effect. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, I'm so smart. Yeah, how are we going to find her? We only found her because of Kryle! Oh, On Kryle's not here. Well. I'll go and fetch her. What a lad. What a lad. Perhaps a clear and unambiguous act of kindness will serve to win the trust you seem so determined to deny me. <laughs> Hell yeah! God, I love Emmett's elk. Look at his posture. 
<laughs> Look at my posture. I've just been slumped over like this the entirety of stream. He's just like me for real. There's no way this man has not streamed on Twitch.tv. He has shrimp posture just like us. His neck? Oh, he must have such neck pain trying to look down to Chuchula like that. Yeah, he's hunched over to talk to you. Oh, it's not as bad as when, uh, what's his face? When Asahi had to literally bend down to Chuchula to talk to her. I have to pull up this image again. <laughs> he got so close. Look at him hunched over. <laughs> at the very least, Ed itself didn't do this. And I respect him for it. Yes, this place should serve well enough. Might I have a little space? I need to concentrate. <laughs> now then, what color was her soul again? Ah, there you are. Oh, is she gonna come out naked again? Yeah, she is naked. He's done it. He's brought her back. Everyone is just looking at naked you stole everyone please. <laughs> oh well, I guess the light is too bright. Oh! Oh, that was very kind of you, Emmett. Matoya, I think the heavens, you're all right. Oh! Huh? I had nearly given up hope. Oh my god, this is so cute! Please, Renard, dry your tears. What would the others think if they saw you like this? This is so f cute! But let us turn our attention to more important matters, such as the Katana Ravel. You had better not have explored its depths without me. Yeah. I was waiting for your return. Stay on your guard, Chuchula. We know not what awaits us inside. Ah! Fun! Let's go! I like the song. Oh, uh, Lozadl! Lozadl. Ooh, that's a cool design. Whee! You're so true, Rion J. So true. Speak your truth, my guy. Whoa, look at the murals. Is that supposed to be Hyladin? Uh, Hyladin. Oh my god, Hydalin and Zodiac. Huh. A city being destroyed. Oh, you look really cool. That's a really cool boss design. Oh. We have amalgamized into one entity. The attention. Um, did I? Oh! Oh, I beat it! Juju is gonna do the thing! I'm like really scared though by the end of Shadowbringers. Like when we defeat the light, like the last Light Warden, like what that's gonna do to her. Because Yusholo was sort of talking about how it's like not good for her to be doing that so much. We did the funny thing. We brought the shadow. Would you describe it to me, Marie Paint for me a picture with your words. Oh my God. A sea of shimmering stars. Diamonds strewn across a raven gown, boundless and beautiful. It is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source. Calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. <laughs> He's doing what I want to do. I want to smack Arianji's ass at least once. Ah, oh, there is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. You recognize these scenes? That 
I do. Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Wait, was I right? Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and three reflections, sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. And the worst part? No one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. Oh. A vision shared of a paradise lost. Preserved only in song and scripture and paint. <gasps> so the Asians trying... Oh my god, it's making sense to me now. The rejoining, they're trying to bring... I'm pretty sure this was already talked about before, but my small peanut brain does not process things right away. They're trying to bring all of the reflections together to make the world whole again, but that's like not gonna be good. That's also not good, I assume. Before the great sundering, there was one world. Yeah. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity until it was faced with a crisis. Unprecedented, terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his. <gasps> and by his grace was the calamity averted. I was right! A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydalin. I was he right! Was to serve as his shackles, to bind him and hold him in check. So they fought, and they fought, and they fought, and in the end, Hydalin was victorious. But then... Who was gonna keep Hydalin in check? As we're learning here in Shadowbringers, too much light is a good thing. So is it necessary- is it really a bad thing what the Asians are doing? Oh my god, why am I- why- no, 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 I cannot side with the Asians. I don't know. Dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. And thus was Zodiac banished and his being divided. D his being divided? What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or. Wait, so they're not gods? They are gods after a fashion. Yeah. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. The eldest and most powerful of primals. Ah. It was we who summoned Zodiac. We natives of that sundered paradise. Oh! Oh, wow! Now, do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? They were the original, like, people! Before the, like... Before the separation of the worlds! Oh! For our world. For our people, for all creation to be made whole again. And then Zodiac was like a primal for them that they brought to life through like prayer and devotion, like all the other primals. Wouldn't you wish for the same? <laughs> oh, I love Emmett. Wow. That was such a cool reveal! Now it's, a, it's like making more sense because I was so confused for the longest time. Like, 
Yeah, because to me, for the longest time, the Asians just felt so comically evil that, like, it just... I didn't really know, like, what could have... What was their motive for, like, inciting so much destruction, so much violence for the name of their god? Like, I understand, like, for the name of their god, like, they do something like that. But it just felt so, like, I don't know, like, I was missing something. And now it just makes more sense to me. It, to me... Like, it makes sense. They're trying to bring the world, like, rejoin the world to what it was before. But, like, that could be really catastrophic. Like, they're just trying to restore their world, and I get that. But, like, I feel like once the damage has been done, if you, like, make more further damage, that's not gonna help the problem. That's just gonna make it worse. That's just, like, going backwards rather than going forwards. Like, I get that, like, Hydaelyn was, like, wrong for that, I assume. Um, it just seems like what she did was wrong of, like, putting down Zodiac and, like, rising up and, like, destroying the original, like, the source and then creating the, te the 13 reflections. Because that seems like an ass move, um, from what Emmett Selk has told us. And now I'm like, I'm like starting to, like I'm understanding what, like what is driving them. And I just think that's so cool. Oh, oh, I love complex villain motives. Ah, you are returned. And none the worse for wear, I see. The sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need no pain or suffering. In that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. I don't know why this is making me so emotional. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts, as we would hold you in ours. Now and ever after, by the boundless dark, this I swear. <laughs> oh my god, why would you do this? Heartburn! I just really like Ruder a lot. He is a good boy. And I love this game. I, lo I, I love this game so much. This game is really good. I don't even know why that made me so emotional because they were just they were everyone they weren't even talking about this anything that serious really they, I mean I think it's just like the gratitude that Runar holds for like bringing the sky back and it like oh uh, I love Runar it's set settled then we re reconvene after everyone had time to settle in. We're gonna go back to the inn, and we're go gonna see our sleep paralysis demon again, and we might cry, and... Oh. Oh, the pain. Oh, the misery. 